Hello, and welcome to Quiz Coconut's Quick Fire Quiz Pod with me, James Cutler. In 2014, I launched Quiz Coconut, and we've since hosted over 2,000 pub quiz nights. Each episode, I pick 10 of our best questions so you can improve your general knowledge, boost your brain power, and learn some useful and useless facts. Answers will be revealed at the end of the episode, and there's one rule. Don't use Google. Use your coconut! Hello again, quizzers. This is episode 51. 10 questions, 15 points. Brain cells at the ready. Here we go. Question one. True or false? There are no words in the English language that rhyme with the word orange. Number two. In cooking, what does al dente mean? Number three. Pop music now. In 1976, Bohemian Rhapsody was knocked off the number one spot in the charts by a song which has a title which is one of the lyrics in Bohemian Rhapsody. So think about the lyrics of Bohemian Rhapsody and one of those lyrics is a song title of the song that actually knocked it off number one. One point for the name of the song and one point for the name of the group. That's question three. As always, pause the pod if you need more time with any question and press play when you're ready. Number four. In the movie Silence of the Lambs, which type of wine did Hannibal Lecter enjoy with the liver of a census taker? Number five. On to sport now. F-I-N-A is the governing body for which sport? Just like Rihanna of the Super Bowl, we're giving your week a little bump. Question six. How many colours are there on the pride flag? Number seven. Which American state is Colonel Sanders most associated with? Question 8. Which popular video game has been released as an HBO television series in 2023? Number 9. This is a question for you iPhone users. If you're not using an iPhone, just give yourself a point and move on to the next one. How many different volume increments are there on an iPhone? So imagine it's on silent and you increase the volume all the way until it's full. How many different increments are there? That is number nine. And finally for number 10, we'll give you up to five points for this one. Can you name any of the countries that the Greenwich Meridian runs through? Think about all of the lines of longitude in the world and go to zero and tell me the names of the countries that that line runs through. There's actually more than five, but we'll give you five points available. See if you can name at least five of those. And you probably need some more time for that. So pause the pod and press play when you're ready for today's bad joke. This is today's bad joke. I watched a documentary about how ships are held together. Riveting. That was today's bad joke. Here come the answers. 15 points available. Let's see how you do. Question one. That is false. There is one word that rhymes with orange and the word is sporange, uh, which is an old botanical term, of course. Number two. Al dente literally means to the teeth, but it's used normally in pasta to say that it's a little bit firm. Number three, Bohemian Rhapsody was knocked off by Mamma Mia. Mamma Mia is a line in Bohemian Rhapsody and is, of course, a song by ABBA. So two points there. Number four, the answer is Chianti. Number five, F-I-N-A is the governing body of swimming and diving. Number six, how many colours are there in a pride flag? There are six... Number seven, Colonel Sanders is most associated with Kentucky, of course, the home of Kentucky Fried Chicken. 
He first launched KFC when he was 62. So there you go. If you've got a great idea, it's never too late. And he lived till 90. So if you eat fried chicken, you can have a long and healthy life as well. Number eight, The Last of Us is the HBO show that everyone's talking about this year. Number nine, there are 16 volume increments on the iPhone. More than you might think. Have a look yourself. Number 10, the countries which the Greenwich Meridian runs through. There are eight in total. If you name five, you can have a point for each one. Here we go. So, of course, UK is the home of the Greenwich Meridian. Then France, directly south of that. Spain. So you might have got those three. Let's see how you do with the rest of them. Algeria, Mali, Burkina Faso, Togo and Ghana. The line runs through all eight of those. Well done, guys. Another episode is complete. If you want to give your thoughts on the quiz pod about whether it's too easy, too difficult, too long, too short, whatever, there is a survey link in the notes. We'll see you next week. If you enjoyed today's quiz, why not book us for your next event? We host corporate events in the UK and Canada and virtual events all over the world. And don't forget to subscribe to the quiz pod so you never miss an episode. We'll see you next week. Quiz Coconut. Nuts about trivia.